hi guys welcome back to my channel so I found this video that never got to make it and I kind of like it and I didn't want to delete it so I decided to post it it's kind of incomplete but it's fun and enjoy the video remember to subscribe and like and watch my other videos as well enjoy the video just gonna go ahead and do my brows but I just wanted to drop my apologies first so Using the Benefit Precisely uh, Brow Pencil in shade 5 as usual, I'm just going to draw my brows really quick. This is an example of your brow, like your brow not even like agreeing with you today. This is a struggle. Like, it's a struggle today. Like the one time, the one time I want to show, like, like do a video where I'm doing a different eyebrow shape the one time that's when everything just eps up but it's okay I'ma just flow with this brow this is what you want to look like fine fine no complaints anymore so I'm gonna go and where am I going? So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now. So I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dust Palette and also the Naked, uh, the Urban Decay Heat Palette. I'm gonna be using that for my eyes. And for sure, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox um, Lead Primer to prime my eyes. My babe! Okay, I'm going to start with my outer corner like I usually do or always do. So I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this shade here. I don't know if you can see it. This shade here, it's blazing. That's the name. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use it on my crease. I really don't know what I look I'm going for, but we'll get there. So with that I'm just gonna use my crease. So I'm using this big fluffy brush because I just want to like make it soft on there. I don't want to be like so much on. So that's why I'm using this fluffy brush here. And the fluffy brush is by House of Tara. I don't think really I can know that. I've had this brush like forever. It's been good to me. Okay, once I'm done with that. I'm gonna grab um what brush I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the Sephora Pro Blending Brush 27. I'm gonna take this shade here, it's called Saffron and it's from the Huda Beauty palette. So I'm gonna put saffron right on my crease as well. So this brush is gonna create like I'm just gonna have more depth, make the color have more depth as compared to the big fluffy brush I used earlier. Now I'm going in with this more like precisely like a blending brush like but more like precise and I'm gonna be using the shade Ashes uh, from the Urban Decay palette. Heat palette. So I'm gonna use the shade Ashes. So I'm gonna put that at the outer corner, but more like upward. Just right there, just like halfway, but not all true. So it looks like I put too much, but it can never be too much. So all I'm just gonna do is blend 
and I'm going back using that fluffy brush I used for the first um, eyeshadow shade. I'm just going to blend that color. So it just looks less harsh. Okay, girl. I see you. So next I'm going to go back and use that saffron um, shade from the Huda palette. And I'm just going to put more right here. Yeah, we're almost done with the eyes. Almost done with the eyes. So I'm gonna get my um, small eyeshadow brush, and I'm thinking of using a different eyeshadow actually. But I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using the Nars single eyeshadow it's called I, I'm not even gonna try it it's the name is like Himalaya I'm guessing it's Himalaya so I'm gonna put that on my lead so we're just going in for something simple so I'm gonna put that on my lead and if I need another sheer color from not liking this I can just put it right on top of it so I don't know why I keep looking here. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I did it again. Oh, yeah, not bad. Good pigment. So this is the first time I'm actually using this eyeshadow. Not bad. I don't know if it's what I'm going for but it's not bad I'm gonna actually just add something on top of it but let's just keep going but keep going let's keep going so right now I'm I'm working on like I don't know why if I want to talk I stop I'm working on talking louder because I louder and clearer because I found that like most people don't hear me when I talk and I'm like I think I'm loud enough but I guess not so I'm working on that so sometimes like the voice on here just goes like this my voice is just like up and down up and down I'm working on it okay I will get there okay so I'm gonna go in with another shade because like I'm not really feeling this just like alone so I'm just gonna go back and put on the retrograde on just to add a little bit because I don't think I'm liking just this so I'm just gonna put the retrograde on here and that's from the uh, Huda Beauty palette it actually feels like the exact same thing but at the same time not the exact same thing I'm gonna take my brush I'm just gonna take this blending brush it has nothing on it and I'm just gonna blend that Because we all know blending is key. And also going back to saffron, I'm just gonna put more. And I'm gonna be using this brush here. I'm gonna be mixing saffron with OUD actually. I'm gonna mix that two together. Okay. I see you. So I'm just gonna blend that. So I'm gonna take this shade from 
do the Huda Beauty palette and it's called Angelic. So I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner right here. Cause I feel like I need more color in it. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my eyes and be right back. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation in shade 430. So I think this is like the neutral shade, but ah, well, it looks a bit red to me, but who knows? It might just be me. So I already primed my face. So I'm just gonna go over and do that. So starting first, I'm doing two pumps. See what I mean? It says neutral, but it has a bit of red on the tone. Or maybe it's a red on the tone. I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm getting things mixed up here, so. Might just be me. So two pumps isn't going or isn't doing much. So I'm just gonna add to it. With my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Dark Neutral. Concealer. So I'm just gonna go over and contour my face. Oh girl, you is glowing. So I'm gonna contour my face and I'm gonna be using my go-to as well, the black up. Uh, concealer or no the black of co contouring stick and shade three just right there not doing too much of the contouring today not doing much not doing much because I feel like I'm not in the mood for contouring today but it won't hurt so might as well just do a little bit So I usually like to do like a smoky underneath my eyes, but my eyes just waters. Like every time I put like eyeshadow, it just waters. So I usually don't. So most of my videos you see, like I don't usually do like um I don't usually do eyeshadows um on my bottom like lid, like my whatever it's called. You get. Um, I don't like to do eyeshadows on there. But today I'm gonna be using a pencil because I feel like or I know that a pencil works for me on the day I don't like cheer up or anything like that so I'm gonna be using a blue and a white um, pencil and let's smoke that out go ahead with that I recently like just started like Set in my face before I put any powder on and anything like that. And I feel like it really works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just set my face. So using the Makeup Forever setting spray. Mm. Okay. So I'm just gonna set that and let that be. Oh girl, hydrate me. Hydrate me. Okay, now I'm done with my whole face. I'm gonna put the description on what I use down below so you can know what highlighter, what concealer, if I didn't mention, that I used. I'm gonna put everything down there so you can. So this was what it, where I ended and yeah, I have a picture of what the final look 
came out to be so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also watch my other videos as well and stay safe and stay home Mwah.